Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to class. Thank you for coming to class. Um, so today <clears throat> we're going to work on side body, side body, which is a really fascinating place to work. Um, and in particular, we're going to be working uh, with the ribs and the intercostal muscles, which are the muscles that sit between the ribs. Um, and what I didn't know, I thought I knew about them, um, is that there are three types of intercostal muscles. There are external um, and internal, and then there's a third one, which I've already forgotten apparently. Um, but the external ones help us to breathe, to inhale. So those inter those external uh, intercostals spread out and help the, the lungs expand and help us take a deep breath. Um, and then the second layer um, helps us exhale. It pulls everything back in so that the lungs um, can contract in and we can get all of that stale air and stale breath out. And then that third layer, that deepest layer, helps both of the other two. So it's fascinating to think there's just the little teeny muscles in between the ribs, and they do so much to help us take a deep breath. So we're going to play there. Um, again, I would just say, be mindful. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it out there in my porch. <laughs> and just see if you can tap in to this specific area of the body and then just fully the rest of the body. All right. So with that, let's have a seat. Oh, let's bring the shoulders back to the side body. Let's find the sit bones, maybe even move the flesh out from the sit bones. Um, a lot of this class can easily be done in a chair. So if you would like to sit in a chair to start, uh, that would be lovely. Um, and then just find uh, your alignment, right? From the tailbone descending down very gently, the curves of the spine, the crown of the head. I always think of uh, like a plate sitting on the top of the head and you don't wanna drop the plate, but you wanna raise the whole plate up higher, right? So we lift up out of the spine at the same time that we ground down toward the earth. And then start with just your normal breath, right? That normal inhale and exhale. And if you can, in your mind's eye, imagine the muscles in between the ribs stretching out and then contracting back in as you inhale and as you exhale. we think of all of these ribs, right? There was a yogi that described the rib cage as this protective embrace around the heart, which I've always loved. And so we have the ribs, we have the muscles that are between the ribs that help the diaphragm to help us breathe. Good, and then draw the breath in a little bit deeper. And exhale it a little bit further. A couple more here. Good, one more just to get us centered here. And then let the eyes open up. And then take one hand on either side of the ribs. And again, kind of think of those protective fingers, right? The protective ribs that lovingly embrace the heart. And as you inhale, I want you to apply a little bit of pressure here. So you can take an inhale 
and feel the sides of the ribs press into the hands. And then as you exhale, again, just a little bit of pressure as you draw in. And then inhale. So you don't want to apply too much pressure, right? And press in. Go ahead, three more, just like that. But you want to feel enough pressure so that you feel a little bit of resistance. Good, just two more. And exhale. Try to take your deepest breath here. And exhale. And let those hands go and shake it out. And then just take one hand and please shift your seat as needed. We're going to be here for a little bit. So just reach up, reach back and down. A couple more on this side. And then take that same side arm out to the side. Keep the shoulder down. Bring it across. Just grab the arm. Ooh, yeah. And stretch. Release that side, take the other side, just circle back. And notice as you circle back, right? <clears throat> so if you have some shoulder issues, you'll you'll circle less kind of straight back and maybe more out to the side, but maintaining as much range of motion as you can. One more big circle. And then take it out to the side and wrap it across. Interesting, which side is tighter than the other? <laughs> is there a rhyme or reason? I am not sure. Good, release that side, shake it out. Take the first arm up, turn the hand back and pat yourself on the back. Just pat yourself on the back. So one option is to just grab your elbow and see if you can reach it back a little bit more, but try not to tuck your head, right? Try not to tuck your chin. And then a gentle stretch, easy, easy here. This can get really deep, really quickly. Feel the stretch of the ribs and the muscles between the ribs. Come back to center, release, roll it out. And other side, take it up, pat yourself on the back. Take the other hand to your elbow and just see if you can find a little bit more space back. And then a gentle slide to that side. Go easy. Watch the jaw here. Cindy, watch that head, neck, chest. I know. Breathe. And back to center and release. Roll it out one more time and then take both hands behind. Interlace those hands. Press the shoulders down as the chest lifts. Keep the head in alignment. Relax your jaw, everybody. Take a really deep breath and feel that expansion. Feel the opening there. Good, one more deep breath. And exhale. And then shake it out. Good, and then go ahead and straighten the legs for a minute. And point, flex your toes. <clears throat> Give those legs a moment's break. Good, and then flex the feet and let's find Dandasana pose. So sitting up really tall, the hands are down at your sides. And then again, draw the shoulders down and back. Maybe lift one leg, right? Uh, we got to get warmed up, you know that. So lift the chest, take that head back. <laughs> Good, breathe. Yep, feel that. Maybe the arms come up. And exhale it all down. Whew, shake that out. Lift up, press the shoulder blades down, feel yourself so nice and tall. Think about that plate on the top of your head, right? And you're trying to keep that baby steady and lift the other leg. This is of course optional. If you're in the chair, you've got one heel down on the floor, the other leg lifting, feel that quad starting to work. Optionally, take the arms up, big deep breath and exhale it down. Good job, everybody. And then again, come into a seated pose that's okay for you. Now, if your legs are not happy being crossed like this, you can come out here and just need some grounding um, somewhere in those legs so that you don't tip over. All right, so I want you to take, 
let's, I'll try to mirror here. So take your right hand across to your opposite side ribs. And hopefully you can see, I can see my hand just disappears there, right? And feel the ribs that we're talking about and feel the muscles between the ribs that we're talking about. And then inhale the other arm up and come across. Now, easy, easy, the ear or the head stays near your arm. You're not rolling forward. It's more of a reach up. So feel the stretch there. Now, this elbow is gonna come to your side. Squeeze it in. Yeah. And then inhale, big deep breath. Exhale, you're gonna see this move a few times. Inhale. Exhale, when you exhale, feel the crunch, not the literal crunch, the squeeze, I should reframe here, the squeeze of the intercostal muscles. Good, last one, take it up. And exhale, squeeze and hold it here, just breathe and then release the other arm and take it across. Woo, yeah, breathe everybody. So we don't have the hand down like we usually do. We're having to use the muscles more. Take both arms up, exhale to your heart, shake it out. We're gonna do the other side. So when you're ready, take the other hand across, <laughs> hold on to those ribs, right? You can feel that, right? If you were to pull them, just hang on to those side ribs, inhale the other arm up and take it across. This should feel kind of good. It's like this arm is bracing your front body. And then exhale, squeeze the elbow into your side. Good, four more, take it up. Exhale, squeeze it in and reach up. Exhale, good inhales and exhales, everybody. Up, squeeze, we got one left. Inhale it up. Exhale, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, feel that and then release the other arm and take it up. Nice job, inhale both arms and exhale, let it go. Let's shake out those legs one more time. If you want, you can probably go wide if that feels okay, or bend the knees if need be. Feel the pelvis drop forward, really nice if you're sitting up on a blanket and you tip onto that front edge of the blanket, it helps the pelvis move forward a little bit. Both arms up. Flex your feet, by the way. Let's get the legs active. And just squeeze both in like you're pulling a rope. And exhale, pull. Good, take it up. Exhale, pull. This is purposeful. So you're not just doing the motions, right? We're working with the side body. Squeeze, last one here. Exhale, squeeze. Take both arms out and shift to one side. I know, weird, huh? Take it center, shift to the other side. Woo! Center, shift. What are you feeling here? Is it the legs or is it the torso? Shift, we got one more set. Shift, hold. Center, shift, hold. Center, and let it go. Nice job, everybody. Keep your right leg again, I'm mirroring here. Keep the left leg out, take the right leg or the left leg in. Feel free to get some support there for that leg by taking a block under the knee as needed, right? Inhale, take it up. Exhale, that right hand comes down, the left arm goes over. So it's kind of an interesting thing, right? I would keep the right hand closer to the leg. So sometimes we go outside, sometimes we would go inside or even take that hand that forearm to the leg and stretch again that side body. Now I want you to contract your right, your left side to pull yourself up. Just simply switch sides. We're not gonna spend too much time right here. Inhale, reach up. Either the hand comes down close to the leg, on the leg or forearm to leg. Try to keep that front chest open. Check your ear and see if you can bring it just a little closer to the arm. And inhale up and release. Nice job, everybody. One more Dandasana, and then we're going to get up. So big, strong flex of the feet. See if you can even lift the heels 
off the floor just a little bit, like that kind of fired up uh, quadriceps or fired up legs. Inhale, take it up and breathe. Take both hands behind your head. Try to lift that head up off the neck, not lift the chin, but just lift that whole head. Breathe. So what are we doing? Back body here, right? Squeezing the shoulder blades. How much more out of tension can we be? And let go. Whew. Nice job, everybody. All right. So um, grab your strap. Um, get cross-legged just one more time. I thought we were done with this, but I forgot one more thing I wanted to do. And double up your strap or more. You know, watch the buckle end. I'm always cautious of that if you've got a buckle. And then take the arms up. Now, what do we need to do here to support ourselves? We're going to side bend again. What I really would like to see is a squeeze into the lower belly. And then the drawing up of the arms, but the drawing down of the shoulder blades. Yeah, there you go. And then pull the strap apart, but don't over pull. So no tension in the neck, shoulders. And start to come over, listen up. You're gonna pull that opposite direction, that opposite hand. I'm gonna pull that back more. Breathe, pull it up. So whichever way you're bending, that other hand's gonna keep a ton of tension. And pull up. Remember what I said at the beginning, be mindful. This is deeper work than it appears. And up, just one more. Squeeze, really pull the top hand and up, take the strap behind you. If this hurts your shoulders, just don't go so low and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Watch the head, try not to let it go forward. Yeah, good. Pull the strap apart a little bit and then up and down. Good job, everybody. All right, so let's set that aside. We're gonna come off of our little behinds and on uh, up to table pose. So please push in your knees. I'm gonna take the top layer off. I've warmed up sufficiently or it's warmed up sufficiently. All right. And then come to table pose. And I want you to start just by, so these same ribs, I want you to see if you can circle them. And we've done this in the past, but not a whole lot. So the arms are active, the back body's active. And then I'm going to try to push the ribs to the right. I'm going to reach them up toward the ceiling, press them over to the left, and let them drop down. So it's this circular motion. And go slow and see if you can tap in to what's happening with the ribs. It's this like really bizarre kind of odd cat, uh, cat cow. We're focusing on the torso, on the mid body. And again, if you're using a chair here, I would have hands on chair and just a, a neutral spine as you move through the ribs. You can even do this seated. Good, circle the other way. Really try to go slow. You can even close your eyes and see if you can feel the rib cage moving around. Deep breaths, everybody. Last big circle. Oh, and back to center. That just feels so good. And you know, if we really think about it, and the more mobile this rib cage, the easier it's going to be for us to breathe. So let's press the left leg back, tone the belly in, lift the leg. Inhale, lift the leg just a little higher, no low backs here. And then exhale into your chest, knee to chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale. If your wrists are hurting, you can go to softest here or elbows, a little harder on the elbows. And lift, squeeze in, and lift, squeeze in, listen up. You're going to keep it neutral and then try to bring the knee to the outside elbow. Here's the ribs again. And then reach back, just five of these. Squeeze it in and back. Squeeze, yep, and back. Feel the ribs. Woo! And back, you know what happens when I get focused. And back, and then slide that leg across. 
Drop the toes and look back. So we're stretching the area we just uh, contracted. And release, bring that knee back down. Walk your hands forward, coming off of the pressure of those wrists and puppy stretch. Big deep breath, everybody. That's it. One more big deep breath. Exhale. And walk those hands back. Ooh, shake out the wrist. Again, you can always go to soft fists. I'm just cautious there because you need a really strong straight wrist if you're going to come off the hands. The other thing, by the way, wrist issues, you can take your mat, fold it under so that the palms, the, the base of the palm is on the mat, but the hand, fingertips are off. Press the right leg back, squeeze in, lift the leg. Just a slight bit higher so the, <laughs> that glute contracts and then squeeze it in. Good, five of these, inhale. Exhale, feel the crunch of the ribs to the front body, right? Squeeze and up. Squeeze, imagine just bringing all those muscles in towards center, last one. Press it straight out, bring the knee outside the elbow any amount. It can come halfway up. And down, yep. And three, breathe. And four, slow it down just a little, squeeze it in. And five, release, step it across. Look back at that foot, stretch out that side. And back to center. Good, I'm gonna turn around just so you can see. Um, you can go wide on your mat if you want, but you can just take that foot out to the side. We're going to gate pose. So you're on all fours and you're gonna take your leg and just stick it out to the side. So if I'm mirroring again, I'll say that's my left leg. I'm gonna look at my right knee to right hip and see that it's pretty much straight up and down. Then I'm gonna squeeze my belly, walk my hands up, Take my hands to my hip. Now, gate pose is interesting, depending on how you were taught and how your anatomy is. Some people will go with a foot straight forward or flexed. I, for me personally, don't like that as much. It's easier to hyperextend that knee, so I drop my foot to the side. For me, your foot can be anywhere from straight, halfway, front, what feels good on that leg, right? On that leg. And then level out the hips a little bit, <clears throat> which is trickier because that uh, long leg's hip wants to be high. So drop the hip, squeeze the glutes. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, you're going to slide that hand down the leg. But imagine that you are protecting a butterfly under that hand. In other words, there's no real weight there. And then think about those ribs again, okay? So that arm that's extended overhead, you're gonna squeeze that elbow to your side while the other arm goes up. <sighs> yep, breathe, inhale, switch. So one arm bends, the other arm squeezes. So bend the elbow, reach that arm overhead. Good, one more here. Slide down, squeeze in, squeeze, 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 breathe. One, you're here, two, that squeezed in arm extends out, and then both arms come back up. Exhale, both hands to the floor, listen up. You're gonna leave, if it's your left leg out, you're gonna leave your right arm where it, on the floor, you're gonna take the left arm up, just a little twist here. Make sure the legs are solid. And exhale, take it down. Slide that knee in. Take a moment, maybe shake out your hips. Maybe do some rib circles. <clears throat> Feels so good. And go to the other side. So extend out through the right leg. Remember, before you move the hand, just check out the standing knee to hip. Because you don't want to be too much inside or outside. You don't have the alignment. 
and then come on up. Again, figure out where that feels good for you. And then just see if you can level those hips a little bit. There's a difference now between leveling and dumping to that inner uh, joint of the hip line, right, of that femur. So don't over adjust, okay? Just feel it, see if you can level out some. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, slide the one hand down the leg, reach the other one over. You don't have to go far here. I've seen yogis that can take that hand down to their ankle. I really don't know how that's possible, <laughs> but you come to your level, right? And breathe, and then here we go, like a little seesaw. One, that elbow goes to your side while the other one reaches over. Yeah, inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, go slow, exhale, elbow to waist, the other arm reaches. Good, one more, and breathe. Inhale, exhale, squeeze it in. Hold for a moment, see if you can extend out, and then both arms up. Exhale, both hands down. That leg stays extended, the left hand stays on the floor, the right arm goes up. Here we are, everybody. Big deep breath. And exhale, take it down. Bring that knee in. Whew. Flip your toes under and just a little down dog action here. So come to down dog. Shake it all out. And if you happen to have been sideways on your mat, that's okay. Because now your feet and hands are probably both off the mat. Notice that. And then walk one foot back to your mat, your other foot back to your mat. You're now in a wide leg forward fold. You can bring your blanket off your mat and just toss it to the back. And then turn the toes out, bend your knees, hands to knees, come on up. Woo. Nice job, everybody, roll it out. Shake it all out. And then step the legs together. Good. Let's come on up to the front of your mat. You can have your block blocks handy if you have them. <laughs> if you're working with your chair today, this is we're just doing a little bit of sun salute slow. You can do those on the chair as well. I know you know how. <laughs> Inhale, take it up. Exhale, hands down. Just look at your feet. Are they even with each other? Remember, you can come halfway down if your low back is chatty. Just soften and maybe sway a little bit side to side. And then soften both knees. Step back with your right leg. Grab your blocks and let the hands rest on the blocks. And find your lunge. Now, you know, right, whether you want your right knee up or down, totally up to you. Play with where your strengths are today and notice how this lunge feels. I always squeeze the inner thighs toward each other um, to help stabilize the legs. Um, leave your right hand where it is. Take the left arm up toward the sky. Here we are in a twist again. Big deep breath. Imagine somebody's pulling the fingers up. Yeah. And then exhale it down. Take both hands to your knee. And lift your chest. Remember the right knee can always go down. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, pull the, rib, uh, pull the rope down. Think about the ribs. Inhale, squeeze. Woo. Inhale, exhale. So inhale, there's the external intercostals. Exhale, there's the, or the internal ones. Take it up, last one. And squeeze, reach forward, pull back, keep the torso forward. Breathe, that's two and three and four. Say good morning to that front leg and five. Let those hands come down to your block. If your blocks are on their lowest level, I feel pretty comfortable about you going to down dog there. If not, it would move the blocks out of the way. Just find dog, down dog. And again, if you're working with the chair today, your hands are on the 
um, chair, your chest, moving toward those thighs. The knees can be soft here. Come to plank pose. <sighs> Breathe, everybody. <sighs> you got this. <sighs> and then down dog again. The right leg steps forward. Watch your block, step forward, left leg. Bend the knees, inhale all the way up. And exhale to your heart. And just shake it out. And notice, right? Just notice. All right, same, <clears throat> excuse me. Same thing, other side. Shake it up. Exhale all the way down. You can take it right to your blocks. Soften the knees and step back with your left leg. Your left knee is up or down. Your body is nice and strong. The shoulders move back. Leave your left hand on the block. Take the right arm up. And think about the wingspan, right? I always talk about wingspan of one side to the other side. If you were making a nice, beautiful line from one hand to the other. Exhale, hands down. When you're ready, take those hands to your knee. Press up. Here we are in a lunge. If you feel really unbalanced, just widen the pose a little bit. And just feel that, right? Inhale, take the arms up. As soon as we move those arms, we throw our balance. Good training. So grab the rope, pull it down. And up. And down. Squeeze down to that side. And three. Three and four. We got this, everybody. And five. I want you to lean forward. You're going to put a lot of weight on that front leg. Squeeze it back. One, two, three, and four. Last one. And five. Let those hands come on down. Step back, downward facing dog. Find your breath. Plank pose, find your breath again, breathe, lower your knees to the floor. If you're working with a chair, I would just come and have a seat and breathe, stretch it out, stretch the hips back, find your breath. Good, take it back to table, to plank. Down dog, left foot forward, right foot forward, bend your knees. I'm just going to move my blocks out of the way and then take it all the way up. Exhale your hands to your heart, roll it out, shake it out, squeeze your wrists, right? A lot of work on those hands and wrists. Also good though, right? We've got to keep them moving. But interestingly, in yoga, most things are this way. There's not really much this way. So that stretch back on the back part of the arms can really be helpful. Good. Shake it out. All right. We're going wide. We're going wide. Maybe the toes turn out a little bit. Again, always depends on your knees, your hips. And then bend the knees and just rock a little bit side to side, just a little. <clears throat> and then take yourself right back to center. Inhale, both arms up. Remember what we've been doing, right? So if I'm mirroring again, my right elbow or my left elbow is going to come to my waist. The left arm is going to go or the right arm is going to go overhead. It's so funny. What does mirroring mean exactly? <laughs> Inhale both. If you can, stay in your squat. If not, when we come to center, just stand up, okay? Good. Your right elbow squeezes. This is slow as the left arm extends out. Breathe. And then back to center. Exhale, left side. I want you to imagine that when you bring that elbow to your side, you were squeezing it in over a beach ball and you got to hold that beach ball to your waist. 
and up. Exhale, left side. We got one more both sides. Squeeze, watch the low backs, watch the knees. And center, last one. Squeeze that beach ball into your side and breathe. And center, and then stand up and let those arms go. Yoga is never a one body part <laughs> practice, right? It's never just a physical practice either. We work with the breath. We work with our minds, our hearts, our, our spirits, and our bodies. <clears throat> so we trust how we feel. We allow that to be the case. So we're still a little bit on the wide side here. I want you to inhale, five-pointed star. Legs are straight, arms are straight. Palms are facing each other, but the palms are wide. Now, pretend you're squeezing a beach ball. <laughs> yep. So I'm really putting some inward pressure on those hands as if I could squeeze them together through that beach ball and exhale, let it go. Inhale all the way up, turn the toes forward, exhale, forward fold. Good, just breathe everybody. Your left hand center of the mat, the right arm reaches up behind to the ceiling. Exhale, switch, and take the left arm up, and release, turn the toes out, bend the knees, come on up, Woo! I know, we're almost done with the wide leg stuff, shake out those hips, and then come back to your squat. Remember, I say it a hundred different ways and times, trust your body, right? Don't go so low if that bothers your knees or your hips. Check the tailbone. Is that tailbone dropping down? You should feel really centered over your hips. Like your torso should feel really centered over the hips. Both arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, elbows to your side body, goddess pose. <sighs> Inhale, squeeze up. Exhale, squeeze down. Good, three more. Inhale, goddess pose. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze everybody. Woo, last one, take it up. Exhale, squeeze it down. Your choice, either straighten those legs, you've had quite enough, or leave them bent. Take the arms out to the sides. Out to the side, squeeze that belly in, lean to one side. Woo! Come center, lean to the other side. Holy moly, come center, sit back in that imaginary chair, lean to one side, just one more both sides. Center, lean to the other side. Center, hands to your legs, push down to stand up and heel toe in and shake it out. I think a mosquito visited my shoulder. <laughs> Good, shake everything out, everybody. <clears throat> All right, last one in the squat leggy department. Find your, uh, find mountain pose. You can stand forward or face forward. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, hands to heart, come on down. So chair pose, right? The legs are active, the belly is toned in, the chest is lifted. We're finding that nice motion here. When you're ready, if you're ready, the arms go up and breathe. Exhale, elbows come straight down to your sides. Tilt forward as the arms reach back. Bring the hands back to your side body. Reach them up again, squat, no squat, up to you. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in, reach the arms back as the torso comes forward. Bring the elbows back, lift up as the chest lifts. One more, one more, one more. Here we go, down, reach back, in, reach up, stand up, everybody. Exhale, down, take it out. Good. Grab a sip of water if that, um, Sounds like a really good idea at the moment. Hmm. Thanks. 
mistake. So we're gonna take that last move and consider a balance pose. Again, if you're near a wall or near a chair, I, I just love the idea of having that little safety net there if you need it. You can even take like one hand um, to say your piece of furniture. And as we do this, you're gonna lift one leg, okay? So consider that it's a possibility. So we're gonna start in chair pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale your hands to your heart. And just feel solid, feel solid right here. Find your breath, take the arms up just like we did. When you're ready, the elbows are gonna come in, the torso is gonna go forward and you're gonna lift one leg. The airplane pose, just a little different way to approach. Bring the hands back in, drop back into chair and stand up. Exhale, hands to heart. Think about it. As the hands start to reach back, one leg lifts. And then you're gonna bring it all back and take it up. One more, both sides. Exhale. And reach. It doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> one toe can be on the floor. Bring it in. Stand up. Last one. Reach back. See if you can find the balance there. And up. Stand up. Exhale down. Ooh. Good job. Just take one arm circle. <laughs> and breathe. Other arm circle. And one more thing standing, and then we're gonna take ourselves down to the floor for the rest. I definitely got a bite back there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to stand back just so you can see what I'm doing without the uh, camera, camera view. So nice, easy pose with the legs, right? Mountain-ish, hips width roughly, but soft knees. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, one elbow in. We've done this before. The other arm over. Now, think about it. If I lock out my knees, I'm going to get real wonky in the body. So I want to keep the knees soft. And then this elbow, drop it down. And then just see. See if it'll go further without strain. Now, feel this. Contract this side. Take the arm up and center, exhale. That's a ton of work that we don't even realize. We're hovering in space when we lift both arms. Only one more, one more side, take it up. Exhale, squeeze the elbow in and reach. Soft, soft, drop the hand down. See if you got any more slide, you might not. Breathe, knees are soft. When you're ready, breathe and take it up, oh, and exhale. Nice job, everybody. All right, come on back to your mat. Inhale, reach up, exhale down. Step back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Just find a really nice dog here. Really nice down dog, maybe shake out the hips. Remember to hang on to that beach ball between your elbows. Or another way to, to think about this is to engage your upper shoulders. Even that I don't like your upper back muscles, including your latissimus dorsi. Just breathe. Good, inhale to your tippy toes, lower down to your knees. And then walk your knees back. In fact, let's go ahead and cushion the knees. We're down here. So if you got something for the knees, go ahead and do that. And come into half plank. I like to cross my ankles. I like to get above those kneecaps, but not drop the hips, right? Keep the hips strong. Your hands are underneath you. The elbows are in the same direction as your thumbs. It's just half plank. That's all this is. 
I want you to see if you can tap opposite shoulder. Now, this might look like shoulder work, but what it, it is shoulder work and rib work. And then hand down. See if you can tap other shoulder without over sway. You're going to move a little to the side, but not too much. And down. Lift up, tap opposite shoulder. Down, tap other. And down. One more here. Tap. Down. And tap. And down. Good. Just press back. Puppy stretch. Come up one more time. We're going to do three more of those. The option is going to be full plank. And then that tap for three on each side. Here we go. Tap. Try to resist going fast. Center. Tap. Center. Tap. Center, tap, ooh, that's a big lean for me. Center, tap, last one, down, tap, come on. And down, lower your knees. Ooh, and child's pose or anything else that makes sense for you at the moment. <sighs> and find your breath. You just notice. How does this pose feel? All right. Come on up, everybody. You're going to use that blanket if you've got it for underneath your hips. We're going to lay sideways for a moment. So you're going to come down on one side. And ideally, you're on your elbow on the other side. Okay. Now, again, if this hurts, double up. You can even double if you've got two mats. You can double something up underneath that hip, right? Or blanket or double blanket. So the knees are bent. You're on your elbow. And the tendency here will be to drop down into those bottom side ribs and just hang out there. So I want you to take that hand, that top hand, and put it underneath your ribs. Yep. And pull them up. Like really pull them up and then bring the top shoulder back so that the shoulders are lined up. Hold that and then reach the arm up. Good. Breathe. Extend the top leg. Extend the top leg. Elbow to knee. I want you to squeeze it in, extend it out. Squeeze it in, extend out. Think of side body. Now the tendency is going to be to roll that chest forward. Keep yourself on your side and don't let the bottom ribs sink down. Good. Two more. Squeeze and out. Last one. Squeeze and hold. Elbow to knee if you can. Touch it. Hold it, squeeze the bottom ribs in. <sighs> Extend out and let go. Press up. We don't work the side body a whole lot, right? It's kind of interesting. Switch sides, everybody. Later today, you're going to go, what? Why am I sore right here? <laughs> Drop down to your elbow. The knees are softly bent. Take that top hand and just reach around the ribs and pull them in. And then pull the top shoulder um, so that it's parallel with the other shoulder. Okay, so that chest is nice and open. And then take the top arm up. Extend the, the top leg out. Yep. And then it's a sideways. So we're not bringing that knee forward. We're bringing it up to the side and down. Watch that underneath side. It's really easy to drop in. Good. Squeeze it in, everybody. And out. Squeeze. Out. Squeeze. Woo! And squeeze and hold. And just think about it. What do you feel here as you're scrunching the heck out of that uh, ribs from your armpit to your hip? right? We're squeezing it in. We're feeling those muscles work. They're important muscles. Extend out, everybody. 
and press up and breathe. Switch your, in fact, while we're on this side, just stay for a moment. Take that, now you're on your hand, not your elbow. Now you're gonna squeeze in whew, and lift up and then stretch over and take it up. Just switch sides, easy, easy. That's just a simple stretch. You're on your hand, you bring the ribs in, you extend out. There's like a zillion things we can be doing, right? And bend the elbow as you reach and come on up. Nice job, everybody. We're coming down to our bellies. So again, if you've got some cushion, that's awesome. Um, if you need it, grab it. If you need to fold something over. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I don't think we're gonna put too much pressure there. Come up to the elbows and just a little sphinx pose here. And rock it a little side to side. I like the rocking kind of sphinx pose because I feel the stretch in my belly <clears throat> without overdoing it. And then come to center, lower down, take the hands outside your mat and forward and then press up. So this is a modified or variation of Cobra. I love this one. It does not irritate my back. And it's really pretty easy on the arms where Cobra is, is an arm challenge. And then lower down, maybe you tap your nose and push up. So just one more here, tap down and push up and hold, drop the shoulders, look forward and lower down. The hands underneath the shoulders, the elbows come down to the side body, but even more so they kind of press back toward the hips. The legs are active, the low belly draws in and the pubic bone presses. Squeeze the elbows to your side and lift up to Cobra Pose. A lot of people go to Cobra and they dump, dump, dump. Either their shoulders are up here or their lower backs are screaming. Don't do it, right? Bend the elbows, use the arms, use the shoulders, use the back muscles. You can lift higher, but not straight arms, just to muscle through. And exhale down. Good, relax everything, take your hands. Let your head rest on your hands. Just bend the knees and windshield wiper your legs. And then take the legs back to center. Maybe the legs are slightly wider than your normal. And tuck in again, tailbone long, belly is tucked. Now you're gonna take these arms, I'm gonna take my glasses off because I'm gonna be more face down. Um, you're gonna take the arms to your side body and reach them, I'm sorry, just reach them forward and wide. We'll start there. And then press into your pubic bone, press into the hands just so your head, neck, chest are off the floor. And then lift the hands and squeeze the elbows back. Please don't look up. I'm looking straight down on my mat and forward. Squeeze, you can lift the legs if that feels good to you. Squeeze the elbows to your side and lift. Squeeze and lift, one more, squeeze and forward, good, squeeze and hold. I'm looking down, the elbows are off the floor, the elbows are level with each other. My legs are lifted, but not overly. And then just lift the elbows a little closer to the ceiling and lower everything down, shake it out. Big deep breath, everybody. If you have a strap, grab your strap. You're gonna turn onto your back, you're gonna want your strap. Oh, slowly make your way onto your back. I know you are all happy about this right now. <laughs> if you still have your blanket there, that's awesome. But just make sure it's not throwing off your hips uh, or your lower back. So you want the blanket to span like your whole lower back 
the sacrum so that it doesn't tilt or tuck it one way or the other. And then just simple pelvic tilts and tucks here. Just tuck and tilt and tuck. Good, tilt, one more. Nice strong tuck, so stretching out that low back. And then a gentle tilt. And then a neutral spine. Go ahead and grab your strap. Take the strap around your left foot. Take the left foot up to the ceiling. Nice straight-ish knee, right? So it doesn't have to be fully straight. But I'd rather see a straighter knee and less elevation of the leg, like less close to your nose, than a bent knee um, to try to kind of compensate. Let the hamstring stretch. And then straighten the right leg if it makes sense for you. The shoulders are down on the floor. Just breathe here for a moment. Deep breath. And then you're holding the strap with your left hand. Take the left leg out to the left side. Keep the right hip down on the floor. Again, this tendency, this urge to bring the left foot all the way down is going to lift that right hip. We want you to resist that urge. And then squeeze the leg up. Grab the strap with your right hand to come across until you are leaning on your right side. So I want you to come all the way over. You're on your right side hip. You're holding the strap with your right hand. Take the left hand to your hip crease and draw the hip crease away from you. My foot is not on the floor. It may be for you, but it's not for me. I'm working with that big old stretch. Good, taste the leg up. Take both feet into the strap. Both feet. And then let the legs go wide. Hold onto your strap. And let the legs go as wide as you would like within the confines of your strap. Maybe you rock a little. Deep breath. And then let the rocking stop. Bring the legs back to center. Just draw the strap. Squeeze the strap in. The feet are back up. Take your left foot out. Your left foot starts on the floor just so we can gauge where's that right foot, what's going on with the right hamstring. And then again, we'll straighten that left leg if it's appropriate. Just breathe here for a moment. Let the left or the right hamstring stretch the right leg. Deep breath. Take the right leg out to the right. Keep the left hip down. Down, down, down. Breathe. Deep breath. And then squeeze through the belly to take the leg up. Grab the strap with your left hand. You're going to go all the way to your left side. Allow the right hip to stretch. Take your thumb into your right hip crease. Draw the hip crease long. Squeeze the right leg up. Take the left foot inside the strap with your right foot. Go wide again. And breathe. Maybe just a gentle press out of both feet. Just to engage a little bit. Notice where you are on your back. If you can, a slight curve in the lower back will tend to round here. Find your breath, everybody. Good. 
and then squeeze the legs in. Turn the soles of the feet together. Keep that strap around your feet. Let the heels come down toward your groin. The knees go out to the side. You're just hanging on to that strap. Relax your shoulders and your arms. Maybe close the eyes. And then bring the knees together, undo your strap and hang on to it for a second. Your feet come back to the floor. You're gonna take the strap and fish it underneath your back along the bottom or the kind of low bottom ribs, not all the way down, but below where your bra strap or uh, your chest would be, I guess, below your shoulder blades there, how's that? Oh. Hang on to that strap on either side and pull up on the strap. So you're going to pull up toward the ceiling, not a ton of pressure, but a little bit. And as you do, press into your feet and lift the hips to bridge pose. Once the hips are up, let the arms go overhead. So the strap is still behind your back. The strap is probably going alongside your armpits as you press up with the chest, press into the heels, bridge pose. If this hurts your neck or your head or your shoulders, please let go of your strap. And then exhale all the way down. Release your hands down. And then take the strap and just crisscross it in front of you as if you were gonna wrap your ribs up in this strap. So you've just crossed your strap. Now you've got uh, the strap in either hand. I want you to squeeze out to the side. So the hands are going out to the sides and you are purposefully tightening, gently tightening that strap around your ribs. Okay, please don't overdo. You should be able to take a deep breath. Inhale, take a deep breath. And on the exhale, just pull a little bit more, just easy, easy. As if you were putting a corset around your strap. All right, inhale, let up a little. Exhale, pull a little more. One more, big deep breath, everybody. Exhale it. Release your hands from the strap. Take that strap out from under you. We've got one left, everybody. You're going to take that same strap to the front of your ankles. So the bottom, very bottom of your shins, the top of your ankles, where your feet meet your legs. And then your feet are back where they were hips width apart, you're holding onto the strap really down, down really low, okay? Turn the hands up so that the shoulders press down. Engage your belly as you lengthen your tailbone, bridge pose one more time. You're gonna lift the hips, you're gently pulling that strap back toward you. Breathe. Hold if you can. And lower. Release your strap, everybody. Go ahead and just set it aside. Bring the right knee to your chest and straighten the left leg. Breathe. Take the same right knee toward the right armpit. So instead of it being straight up to the center of the chest or to the right side of the chest, you're bringing it a little more to the outside. It'll be different for everybody. And then bring it back to the kind of in line straight up. 
and then grab it with your left hand and bring it slightly over to the left side of your chest. Don't twist, don't twist. Just keep the knee pressing toward the left. And then allow the twist all the way across. Good. Come back to center. Straighten the right leg down. Bend the left knee. Bring the left knee to your chest. Come in straight up. And then the left knee goes toward the left armpit. Don't over muscle this, by the way. Keep the sacrum down. And then center. And then just toward the right. The, again, the sacrum stays down. This is not a twist. And then allow the knee to go across the body and come into a twist. The arms can go out to T position. And bring that knee back to center. And straighten that along the floor, everybody. A well-deserved Shavasana. So as you're ready, find your comfortable place to be. And come into Shavasana. And baby, as you start to descend into Shavasana, you just feel the ribs or the breath. Not extending it, not making it deeper, but maybe noticing if there's a little more ease there. And the eyes close. And the jaw softens. Soften down even more.
Start to wiggle your toes. Maybe curl your wrists. And then bend the knees, let your feet come to the floor for a moment. Feel your spine. And then draw the knees to your chest, squeeze them in, maybe circle the knees a little bit. Allow the knees to roll over to one side. Roll over in fetal pose. Pause here. Just think it's going to be a great day, everybody. And then press all the way up. Come on. Roll the shoulders back. Bring your hands to your heart, bow to your own inner goodness and goodwill and love. Let's shine as much of that out there as we can. Namaste. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope everybody has an awesome day today. Thank you. <laughs>